What's up everybody, I'm 720p here. Today I'm bringing you some do's and don'ts of League of Legends. Yes, the ones of you who do play League of Legends and actually know what the fuck you're doing, uh, you can excuse yourself from the video if you want, or if you want to sit here and have a nice little laugh, that's fine too. Anyways, to all the new people to League of Legends, if you're watching this and you just started playing the game, I'm going to teach you some shit that you don't need to fucking do. And then some stuff that you absolutely need to do. Alright. I'm going to be cutting through different parts of the video. And you will probably see the don'ts first. So I will see you there. First thing you're going to want to not do is turret dive like this when you're a really low level. It's fucking retarded and you will get killed. 90% of the time, you will not kill the person you're trying to kill. Yet, people try to do it every game. No matter what elo you are, people still try this fucking idiotic stunt. It happens. Every game. Alright, now we're going to cut to the next don't. Which will probably be... Attacking someone a lot higher level than you that you know you can't fucking kill, but yet You do it anyway, which makes no sense All right, I'm back with the over level one. Always trouble. All right, I'm gonna see if I can't get this bot to hit me and then I'm gonna sit here and Probably kill her because it's a bot and then she's gonna kill me because she's a higher level than me and there's nothing I could really do there. She hopped over, ulted on me. You don't have your ult because you're level 5. If you're underleveled in, in any lane, if you're underleveled, the best thing you can do is farm. And if you don't know how to farm correctly, I will show you. And the correct way to farm is just last hitting. You will save yourself a lot of time and agony if you just last hit. It will help a lot. And then you don't have to worry about missing CS or getting fucked in the ass by the other team while you're trying to farm. Alright, next thing is don'ts. Um, don'ts. This is for the supports. This is a don't for you. Don't fucking go in a game thinking you're not support and you don't have to buy wards. You do have to buy wards. That goes for junglers too. Support should not be the only ones buying wards. Top lane, mid lane, and jungle should also be buying wards. The only person that does not have to buy wards is the AD carry. Because you want as much damage as quickly as possible on your main carry. Mid lane, if you're bitching about getting ganked, buy wards. Top lane, if you're getting ganked, buy a fucking ward. It's not that hard. It costs 70 gold. You get that in, what, two minions? Let's see. How much gold for one minion right here? I wouldn't know. Fucking killed it. 22 gold for a minion. Kill fucking four minions. Go buy your ward. It's not that hard. Killed a cannon minion, you would get a lot more. You'd get 40 something gold. It's not that hard. Alright. That's the three don'ts for this video. This is going to be a series. Alright. Now we're going to go to the do's. The things that you do do, I can probably tell you all right here and just show you right here. The things that you do do, you work with your teammate. If you're in a lane where there's two people, work with them, not against them. Especially if you're support and you're the AD carry. These bushes right here and right here are here for not just to hide in but to, for the supports to stand in and or ward can't tell you how many times in a game where I've been AD carry and I've asked my supports to ward and they only ward Riverbush you can't do that you will get brutally ass raped if you just ward Riverbush alright so supports first thing first off you should be starting 90% of the supports should start with a uh, the the charm and the rejuvenation bead and three wards that should be your starting point and you should put a ward there and if you're on the red or purple side in your tribe bush 
and in your upper bush. That should be the three ward spots that you cover. If you're on blue side, you should cover the river and your upper bush. And if you're getting pushed back to your turret, cover your lower bush. In mid, you want to ward your upper and lower bushes. And in top, you want to ward your river bush. And if you're on red and or purple side, you want to do your tri bush. Just because you have limited vision and it makes it easier. <laughs> Alright, last hitting is another huge thing that people do wrong. Alright, you never want to stand still. Standing still is probably the worst thing that you can do because it allows enemies like Nami, Elise, um, Brand, Tarek, people like that to be able to get to you quickly and stun you where you can't move and if you're stunned and you're the carry then there's a good chance that you will die very quickly and there's not jack shit you can do about it because you were standing still and you weren't ready to move to get away alright last hitting is basically just what I'm doing right here just wait till the minions get the other minions down and shoot one time and or hit one time like this what are you playing that. I mean if you have the extra mana you can use abilities to clear now minion waves out way. that works fine too alright like and you. the third do is gonna be for the whole team do line up like a fucking football team when you go into team fights it, it you think it's stupid for me saying it now but it's really smart alright every team should have one to two tanky characters easily tanky characters this team doesn't or it does because it has Malphite alright so basically in team fights it would go Malphite in the front to initiate then it would be me and Malzahar which I'm the AD carry he's the AP carry we'd be sitting in the sitting towards the back of the group Sana would be beside us healing and Tristiana would jump in and do whatever the fuck she does. <clears throat> and that's how that would work. But in real life, when you got the herp derp and you're in your own um, party, uh, that's not how it works. See, the way they see it is the longer they can stay alive, the more damage they will do. Which is true, but to the point that the other team focuses the AD carry and no one supports him or the AP carry and no one supporting then you're not doing any damage because your main damage dealers are dead at this point in time in the speech because they will get focused if the other team has an eggshell for a brain and I know that's asking a lot from some of the people who play this game and if you're one of them people you should uninstall the game but anyway Thank you for watching the first episode in this series. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be a link, or my League of Legends name will be in the description. If you want to add me, please go ahead and do so. I will play with you um, whenever I get a chance. I play with a lot of people. I have 200 and something friends on this game. So shoot me a message anytime you see me online, which is pretty much like 13 hours a day. But I will always be there to help if you need help if you have any questions about any characters I own most of them so leave a comment below and thank you guys for watching leave a like favorite subscribe and follow my twitter please um, if you want to get in touch with me that's probably going to be the fastest way to do it peace out